Please stand by. Good day and welcome to the webcast, Discover the Secrets of Successful Online Businesses. I would like to hand the floor over to our speaker, Jeff Bartow, Trust Strategist at Symantec. Jeff, please go ahead. Why, thank you, Jake. Hello to everybody who's joined us today, wherever you are around the world. From the mountains to the prairies, from sea to shining sea, everywhere in between and beyond. Thank you for taking the time in your day and for joining your colleagues in participating in our discussion today. My name is Jeff Bartow, and I'm a trust strategist here at Symantec. We are the leading provider of solutions to validate, protect, and project your online business. You know, my role here allows me to focus on delivering maximum value from the solutions that we offer. And all of those are for the betterment of your business and your career, and frankly, in the name of making the Internet a safer place. That is something I am just passionate about. I am passionate about driving and inspiring fundamental trust on a very public Internet. I believe that we are all in this together. Now, before we head into the content, I want to take care of some housekeeping items. First of all, uh, personally speaking, I have a head cold. So periodically, you're going to hear a pause like this, where I'm going to cough or sneeze or take a drink, drink of water. You might also hear my voice crack, and I assure you that I am Jeff Bardo and not Peter Brady, and I say that with affection for those of you of a certain age who will get the joke. For those of you who don't and everybody else, we do want your interaction and your feedback. We are going to have some poll questions which are open right now. They appear on the right side of your screen. I invite you to respond to those questions because, again, we do want your interaction and your feedback. I will let you know towards the end of the presentation when the polls close. Ah, there's the voice crack, told you what happened. Uh, second, Q&A, uh, feel free to submit any questions that you have for me at any time. Again, that's on the right side of your screen. Uh, we will handle uh, live questions and answers at the end of the presentation if there is time. If we run out of time um, or close early, uh, we will handle those questions afterward. Uh, I'm always asked, how do, we, how do we have a next conversation? Uh, contact information will be shown prominently at the end of the presentation. And the question that we are always asked Yes, we are recording this presentation. You will get a link to the recording. You can also obtain a copy of these slides in PDF format after the presentation is concluded. So with that, let's get started. Let's set the table here. E-commerce, that's where, what we're here to think about and talk about. And e-commerce has been happening and is happening big, bigger every year. We're seeing e-commerce to the e-commerce sales to the tune of $263 billion, and that's just in the United States alone. That number, is, frankly, is, is from our friends at the U.S. Uh, Census Bureau and uh, Department of Commerce, and that's also broken out into specific bands. Um, a lot of e-commerce merchants of all sizes are getting a growing piece of this action uh, from individual stores. Um, on eBay, for example, up to the titans of e-commerce, uh, names that we all know, like Amazon and Zappos and so forth. Okay. We also see growth. That $263 billion number is, is up 16, almost 17% from 2012. Who knows what 2014 is going to have in store for us, but we assume it's going to be much bigger. So with growth across all of these bands, it's important to ask, especially as a new um, or growing e-commerce business. What, are, what is the secret or what are the secrets of merchants that have done well? Okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, consumers, putting ourselves in, in the shoes of someone who's going online and shopping and buying, typically want to know three things. They have three concerns. Okay, first is around the idea of information security. Is their personal information going to be kept safe and secure. And usually that's around identity, but it also means things like their credit card number, their location, any details about them that describes them. Second category, about reliability. Will the product be authentic? Will it arrive on time? If there is a problem, will the merchant pro provide great customer service? Last but not least, am I getting the best price? And is there some degree of price protection, so to speak? If, the lower, if uh, a merchant lowers a price, will I be made whole? Or am I stuck? Did I you know, pay a higher price? How will that be, be addressed? Okay, I'm going to demonstrate why these concerns, these are the concerns shortly. 
and what leaders are doing to combat them. Also, quite specifically, what you can do to combat them to the betterment of your business. So, meanwhile, let's uh, factualize each of these a little more. First things first about information security. From our friends at VeriSign Incorporated, uh, we see that 83% of online users worry about their identity being stolen from an online purchase. Right when they're doing what you want them to do, they're worried about their identity and, 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 and letting that go, much less their, their, their credit card details or their location details. Also from the U.S. Federal Trade Commission, 64% of, of identity theft originates online. That's a whopping percentage. So consumers have, have, are well justified in having these concerns. Next, in the area of merchant reliability. Actually, a competitor, or a competitor of Semantics, McAfee, states that 92% of shoppers have concerns when shopping on new and unknown websites. So this idea of validating who you are, that you are a trusted place, and that your business operations, that you are not only real but you're reliable, are at the top of people's minds. And not only do we validate that, but are our competitors too. Now, from the National Consumers League, we see that 61% of all complaints are for, are for merchant non-performance. The merchant didn't do what they said they were going to do or what I expected them to do. Now, that may be a slippery slope either direction, but it still it speaks to the concern of, of pro online shoppers themselves with regards to the, term, the, the category of merchant reliability. Finally, in the category of price, I asked them some sample questions there, but let's factualize them a little more. And from our friends at BizRate Research, we see that 45% of shoppers view price as the most important thing. Am I getting the right price? Is, the right, is this affordable to me? Is this price that's something I can bear? Is it a competitive price? What's going to happen with the am, am I getting a sale price? Is this always the price? Can you do better on price? What happens if it goes lower? So on and so forth. Okay, so these are, these are three areas of material concern. What I'd like to do is, using these categories of problems, um, I'd like to show how we've mapped out the common available solutions that address each one of these. So let's go there now. So looking at those, we really look at these three categories, if you, if you take even a further step back, to look at trust and security and guaranteed shopping. So in the information security realm, most of you are already familiar with SSL solutions offered by certification authorities. Semantic is one of them. Um, there are multiple brands of SSL available. And you don't need to know what SSL stands for, how it works, but it does encrypt the data that's going from a person's browser to your site and back so that nobody else can budge in or observe or steal that data. Data like their personal information or their credit card information. You really want to be using SSL so that nobody but you and your customer or your shoppers can see what's going on. Okay. The leading solution, of course, there in that area is from Semantic itself, and that is you, you, you see the evidence of that in the Norton Secured Seal. That's shown there prominently in the center of the, the selections. However, it's not always about SSL. There are other solutions which protect information in other ways, too. And I've shown those logos here. Separately, though, from the security of information, there are completely different vendors which provide ratings on merchant reliability. Okay, I'm showing some of those now. Notice that they are different vendors from those that protect the data. And also notice that in some cases, you have to get on a specific e-commerce platform in order to gain a specific solution. Unfortunately, when you do that, sometimes doing so is going to prevent your ability to access other available solutions. You may be ruling yourself out from using a solution in information security. By choosing one, you can't have access to another. Now, that's not always the case, but it is something you want to pay attention to in protecting your, your consumers and driving people through and to and through your funnel but also in addressing each one of these concern areas. Okay, last but not least, if you notice, there's really nobody out there that offers solutions regarding price. That's kind of an unfortunate thing, but it is what it is. Now, I want to add a different dimension here. 
Okay, this is these are these are just the vendors that are out there that are offering solutions in each one of these areas. Where I want to go here is what happens during a sale and after a sale. Okay, and those are the areas of prevention and resolution. Okay, again, prevention being what happens before and during a sale, or as we like to say in e-commerce industry, in the funnel, you know, your funnel, your sales funnel, driving people to that point of purchase, that moment of truth when money exchanges for goods or services. And then resolution, what happens after a sale? Okay, so if we look at the different solutions that are available on the marketplace to address these three areas, suddenly we see that only half of the concerns that a typical e-commerce consumer has, there's commonly accepted solutions for. Another thing that you could take from this is that the disparity, is the disparity between these solutions and in some cases different platforms. Okay. We see that in each one of these areas. So before we go onward here, because we're kind of at a pivot point in, in the presentation here, I want to offer a couple reminders. First of all, this is the semantic webinar for how to discover the secrets of successful online merchants. I'm Jeff Bardo, trust strategist here at Semantic. Uh, we are now 14 minutes into the presentation. We're doing well on time, but I do want to point out there are poll, polls that are open now. They are on the right side of your screen, and we do welcome you to submit your questions that you might have. Cool. So in today's discussion, we've taken a good look at right now concerns. Okay, concerns of consumers that are happening right now. Your customers are worried about this stuff and the current Band-Aids that are available to them. Unfortunately, some Band-Aids don't stretch over into different categories here. Okay, so I want to park those thoughts for a moment and actually switch gears conceptually speaking. I want to speak at a level that, that's kind of above this, and that is at the level of trust. Okay, specifically, the level of consumer trust in e-commerce sites. Okay, so let's go there. Everybody's familiar with a cartoon that appeared way back at the dawn of e-commerce. Okay, and on the internet, nobody knows you're a dog. And ha ha ha, there's two dogs sitting at a, at a computer, and they could pretend to be whoever they want. Okay, that was, was quite a while ago that that appeared. Okay, and there's been a lot, of, a lot of fun poked at it since then, and you're seeing that right now. Okay. Since then... Back when you can pretend whoever you wanted to be, things have changed drastically. Now you really can't. I mean, the advent of social media and, and, and so forth to positively identify who you are. You, are. you cannot hide in cyberspace right now. You are definitely you, and there's a projection of you in ways and in places that sometimes are beyond your control. Okay? Everybody knows that you're not a dog. However... Things flip when you change perspective from the consumer, the person sitting at a browser, to the sites that they're going to. And now the reality is that nobody knows whether those sites are dogs or not. And I use that term life, light, lightly, is this site a dog or not, to make that point. Concerns over information security can arise from a lack of trust. There really is a necessity out there to validate your presence, to make sure that customers know they are on the site they're, they're supposed to be on and that you are a reliable vendor, you're a reliable site. You've got some cred and some, some reason to be there, and you're not a site pretending to be something else. Okay. So that said, I want to move into a concept that, that I, I've, I've realized in my experience here, and that is a transitive property of trust. Before I go into those big words and what that means, I want to take us all back to high school. Okay, remember when we were taking algebra or whatever it was, where they came up with this idea that if A equals B and B equals C, therefore A equals C. Okay, this is the way for all of you to sound smart at the next cocktail party, and that is that equation right there is called the transitive property of equality. Okay, so let's all remember that transitive property equality. We're going to remember that A equals B, B equals C, therefore A equals C. That's what that's called. And in the world of trust, there's actually the transitive property of trust. Using the transitive property of equality, here's, as a basis, here's how it actually works. 
Okay, we're going to do a stair step, and this isn't this isn't meant, isn't meant to be insulting, but we 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 do want to we want to step through this and bear this out in in rather painful detail here. I'll make it easy on you. So let's go up the stair step here. Okay, the customer, your customer, who trusts you and your site, tends to stay on your site, and when someone stays on a site, they tend to interact with your site. They're going to be doing something there. Okay, and when they're interacting with your site, they tend to be doing things that you want them to do, like click create, create account, enroll, log in, confirm, put this in my shopping cart, purchase, connect, share, complete, like, all these things that we want to see happen, but also that we can measure. And when a customer, your customer, does this, that typically tells you that they are either demonstrating their loyalty to your site, they're rewarding you for their trust in you, or because these are all measurable positive things for your business, they, are, they demonstrate business uplift. And if the customer is behaving loyal, loyally or building business uplift or both, that tends to be good for business. So let's go back to the transitive property here, and let's see the point here that the customer who trusts you and your site is good for business. Okay, transitive property here, A equals B, B equals C, therefore A equals C. The customer who trusts you and your site is good for business. So it's a, it's a fundamental thing here to identify the philosophy and get on board with that to drive and maximize and project trust on your site. This is the right, right site. I am trustable. I am a, I'm a reliable merchant. Okay. So I'm going to talk about ways that leaders in the industry have done that. Some of these are not e-commerce leaders. Some of these are from other verticals too, but I think they demonstrate the point that we all can get our, our, our arms around. Okay. Let's start with Google and Mozilla. Mozilla is who makes the Firefox browser. They are an organization, not a company. Uh, Google, of course, is a company, quite the biggest of them all. We probably all work with Google or use their products in one way or another. Years ago, Google announced that they're going to start protecting search results. Okay, they wrote a blog about it. They're very public about it when they announced that they actually were sitting on a panel in Washington, D.C., sat next to them when they were, make, they were making the announcement. That's the level of interaction that, that Semantic has with these kinds of leaders. The reason why this is important is think of the kinds of things that you Google. I mean, it's obviously, it's become a, become a verb. I Google things. When you go and you Google stuff, it might be things that you're shopping for, but it might be things that you are you need help with or you, you, have, a, you have a problem you need to solve. Okay. Case in point, my wife and I, were at one point, we're considering adoption. That is not the kind of thing, despite me doing it right now, that I'm ready to just go tell the entire world. At the moment, I kind of wanted to keep that private. Without having protected search, encrypted search, that is, anybody who's watching Internet traffic could see that that's what I'm going to Google for. Not only Google's advertisers, but in between the point where I send it from my, that, that search query about adoption resources to Google, anybody can see my query in transit. That's just the way it works. Google decided, wait a minute, there's two levels of information here. There's personally identifiable information, and there's sensitive information, which doesn't identify me, Jeff Bardo. However, it is sensitive to me, Jeff Bardo. So they're going to protect all of it. And that's really the reason why they protected search. Now, protecting search, of course, drove search marketers ape, because suddenly search marketers couldn't tell what people are searching for. That is a big headache for us, but Google made the right choice. It is about the end user. It's about that transitive property of trust. The more that the customer, the person sitting at the browser or holding the mobile device, the more that they trust the site, the better it is for everyone and for that business in particular. Google took the gamble and is doing even better. Their site is even more trusted. Okay, move on to another example. See these brands at the bottom? Brands in the middle there, too. They're using something that we're, we, Semantic really gets behind. It's a concept called always on SSL. To take the technicalities out of what that is, is that this is the ability for a site to protect the entire online experience 
at that site. We just had a voice crack there for everybody who's watching for that. Um, meaning that as soon as I arrive at a site until I depart, or as soon as I log into a site until I log out, the entire experience is encrypted. Nobody else can see anything that transacts back and forth. That is great because that says it is a one-to-one -one experience with the site and the consumer. When that happens, you enter into, into, into a trusted space and a trusted relationship. And when you're in a trusted relationship, ta-da, transitive property of trust happens. The more the customer trusts the site, the better it is for business because all those things happen in stair step along the way. Okay? And you've seen big brands take advantage of this. All the social media sites, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, so on and so forth. Major banks getting on board, major investment houses. People concerned about, am I good in, in my interactions with this site? Is my information going to get into the wrong hands? By implementing this kind of philosophy, you create a, tr you create a trusted experience. Again, trust drives, drives conversions. Trust drives business. These aren't e-tail sites, but they sure buy into this idea that you can adopt too. Okay, we'll give one more example here. Using other leading brands. There is an organization with which we are allied, we are, we are fundamental members of, called the Online Trust Alliance. Okay? And this is an organization that is focused on driving trust at a consumer level. Your customers, the people who are paying your bills. Okay, this is about them. And what we, as vendors and as, as major sites, can do to promote and expand and expound upon trust. Okay. And you'll see all the different brands here who, in the Online Trust Alliance's opinion, have done it best. Okay. They, they have something every year they call the Online Trust Honor Roll. Okay. They're about to release their findings for this year, too. I highly recommend that you go visit them. The link is at the bottom of the page. But they evaluate sites, all of these sites, for example, on several criteria. How much they're protecting their domain and their brand and the consumer themselves. Are they using technology that protects the experience and the data going back and forth? Are they using things so that their brand cannot get hijacked? So it really is that site, that brand that consumers can rely upon. Are the, is data being protected? Is privacy being protected? Are they being transparent about their methods in doing so? Are they talking about trust and security and identity on their sites? Are they really owning it? Okay. And you see it. This, what, what I'm showing here from the, the honor roll, these are the winners from, from uh, the previous year. And you see some big brand names there being recognized, but among those top 10, I think there are, um, there's some smaller brands too. So this isn't a case of the big brands always do it right. They're just perfectly applicable to you too. So if you'd like a checklist of all the different things that you could do to expand trust from, a, from an organization that is singularly focused on that, by all means, make friends with the Online Trust Alliance. Tell them we sent you. We're good friends with the organization. We're in complete alignment with them. The link is at the bottom. Okay, so I've pointed out several examples here of how different organizations use different models, different methodologies to project trust. Now, before we go on here, Let's have a couple of reminders. Okay, this is the semantic webinar for how to discover the secrets of successful online merchants. I am Jeff Bardo, your host. We are, as a time check, at the bottom of the hour, 27 minutes in. Reminder that the polls are open, and there, are, there is an opportunity for you to, support, to submit questions. We would be happy to take them. We'll be doing so at the end of the presentation. Okay, so back to the situation at hand. We take all that, that philosophy lesson that we have on trust and we look at the situation that we've got here. How do you solve this? Okay, you've got these consumer concerns. You've got solutions in some areas and sometimes they prevent you from using other solutions on the screen. Some areas, there's no solution at all. At least none that's recognized or one that's, that don't currently, currently exist. It's a complicated situation. We have at least five things going on here. Each one of them needs to be solved. First, 
There are trust problems common to all online consumers. Okay, these are the people who pay your bills. They're the ones who make you and your site and your brand successful. And these trust problems are common to all users, yours and others, specifically yours, as they move into, through, and beyond your funnel. Second, there are actually six dimensions of those common trust problems, not just these three categories, because when we lay on the, the, the layers of prevention and resolution, we see the scope of the problem here. Okay, six different ways that consumers can eject themselves from your funnel or possibly even stop others, thanks to social media, sharing, Yelp, so on and so forth, possibly stop others from entering your funnel. Okay, these, this is something you want to take care of. Third piece of the situation, the existing solutions, as you see here, are individually good, but the disparity of solutions creates no easy-to-manage or uniform method for you to address customer concerns. There's no way to uniformly establish and project trust and frankly, thanks to the transitive property, capitalize on trust for your e-business. Okay, fourth dimension. God, this is getting dire here. I apologize, but we've got to lay this out frankly. Okay? These, these solutions that are available don't cover all six dimensions of common trust concerns. You see the big red X's there. What's there to solve that? And five, number five, finally. Okay, some of the solutions listed there are not compatible with others. I mentioned this before, but it's, it's an important point to consider. In some cases, if you buy into one solution, you can't access another. If you could implement multiple solutions in a given dimension or magically get your solutions working together, start thinking about all the different logos that appear there. Okay, you don't want your site to start looking at a race car, like a race car at a NASCAR event. You know, it's, it's suddenly so covered with logos and trust indicators that your site and your brand becomes visually cluttered. You don't want clutter in trying to, trying to solve one problem. You don't want to become visually cluttered to the point that your own brand gets diluted. Ugh. Okay, this is a mess. Okay, so let's, let's, let's look at solution, solutions. How do you solve not only the customer's concerns, but at the same time gain efficiency and, frankly, excellence in solutions, which are both meaningful and, frankly, compelling to your customers. Here it comes. This is what I'd like to introduce. The Norton Shopping Guarantee. Okay, in alliance with our friends at BuySafe, Symantec is offering a solution that alleviates customers' anxiety with shopping online. This is in alignment with our SSL product that I showed you on the previous matrix. We'll come back to that. Norton Shopping Guarantee meets the criteria for prevention and resolution in each of the three categories, security, reliability, and guaranteed shopping. That whole landscape is covered. Norton Shopping Guarantee enables online merchants to increase conversion, increase average order value, create repeat buyers, and increase customer satisfaction. Okay, let's factualize that a bit and show you how it works, especially in that, that arena of different problems and available solutions. Okay, so when the Norton solution is displayed throughout the buying, buying process, you will address all six dimensions of customer concern, reducing your shopper's concerns about information security, product authenticity, timely delivery, and getting a good price, those three major concern areas. Okay. Now, you're familiar with, with number one there, that, that the one that's, that's shown, that is the Norton Secured Seal, and that is about protecting the data, encrypting the data going back and forth. But the magic happens when you consider this counterpart solution, Norton Shopping Guarantee, addresses the other six areas merchant reliability, and price, all of these in the realm of prevention and resolution. That is, as people move to your funnel and through your funnel, and then what happens after the sale, too, all protected in this one solution. All right, so let's, using this, these same three categories, these same six dimensions, let's dive into how Norton Shopping Guarantee maps to the customer concerns 
Let's drill down on how Norton Shopping Guarantee does it. Okay, first things first, in the area of information security, uh, uh, Norton Shopping Guarantee sets up $10,000 of identity theft protection. Okay, this is blanket protection for 30 days as an added benefit for shopping with you and your site. If there is any form of identity compromise, the consumer is covered no matter how the compromise has occurred. Think of that. Okay? Also, while you're doing so, think of the major retail brands who just in the past three months were breached and compromised. Okay? I can think of two right off the top of my hand. One which suddenly had to reissue, had to have people reissue credit cards and had to give discounts to woo people back into their stores at a busy holiday season. I don't want to name names, but think of all the personal and credit card information of consumers and how those retailers and those consumers would have benefited greatly from a service like this that you can extend to your online consumers right now. Second dimension here, looking at merchant reliability and how Norton Shopping Guarantee can help you. And that is a $1,000 purchase guarantee. With a guarantee for 30 days, you will be reassuring the buyer that you are committed to great customer service. This is kind of a form of insurance policy, if you will. Okay. A lot like that. It's for your customer. It's kind of like a safety net if you want to look at it a different way. Regardless of the metaphor, this tells the consumer that they will be made whole if for some reason suddenly you can't hold up to your end of the deal. There's a bunch of reasons why you might not. Might not. You forget to turn something off while you go on vacation and, God forbid, take time off for yourself. Or something gets broken in the process. Or disaster happens and suddenly your business can't operate. This will keep the consumer whole. This will prop up your reliability and people's trust within your business. Last but not least, let's look at price. Norton, Go Norton Shopping Guarantee will offer a $100 lowest price guarantee. This is a same store low price guarantee. They said otherwise, it tells the consumer that if you lower the price within 30 days of pur purchase, the consumer will be refunded the difference up to 100 bucks. It comes with the product. Okay, three different important aspects directly addressing these major concern areas in information security, merchant reliability, and price, but also from a protection and a resolution standpoint. All right, so let's let's show you how it looks, how it plays out. You know, I made a point earlier that you don't want your site getting covered and your brand being diluted by the number of icons, profusion of icons and, and logos of the solutions that you try to provide in order to address these three areas. So I want to go into how you can make your customer aware that the Norton Shopping Guarantee is active on your site and working to protect them in ways which, which are persistent, obvious, and prominent, or as we like to say, what makes your site pop. Okay. Norton Shopping Guarantee has three graphical elements in several sizes and color palettes to choose from. We will work with your team to leverage our, leverage our best practices, some of the biggest brands in the world secure through our brand so that you get the maximum benefit of the program. Happy to work with you on this. Much like free shipping, the more your, your shoppers are aware of the benefit, the more likely you are to influence behavior. Okay, so you see a different variety of seal sizes there, 60 by 100 pixels or 80 by 85 by 122. There's a hover over option, so seal rollover, and that is when you roll over the seal, it pops up and shows the different dimensions of protection that's available through Norton Shopping Guarantee. ID theft protection, purchase guarantee, and low price guarantee. Okay, second dimension here. The key elements uh, here obviously are the seal and the are the seal, but also conversion kickers. Okay, the Norton, uh, Norton Shopping Guarantee seal is placed on all the pages of your website. It will dock in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, uh, much like I'm showing on the slide there. If you look in the lower left-hand corner, it will appear that way. And if you scroll up and down on the page, it will stay put right there in the lower left-hand corner. Okay. 
We recommend placing the JavaScript code in a global include file for those of you who wear that hat. The ideal location for the Norton seal code is at the bottom of the body section of your pages. For those of you who have web designers to do that, they'll know exactly what we're talking about. Exact, again, we, we're happy to work with you and make sure that best practices are applied to the betterment of your business. Okay, you can make use of our conversion kickers or these small banners to reinforce your trust message. And of course, there's the ability to provide notifications and instant feedback of the services available to the consumer upon completion of the sale. This reminds them, your consumers, as they're paying the bills, this is directly after that moment of truth, reminding them that they are already protected from the second dimension of concerns, and that is those resolution dimensions of concerns. It happens automatically. They don't, they don't need to do anything. All of this comes free to them simply by you signing up for Norton Shopping Guarantee. This drives trust as people enter into and move through your funnel, and also once they move beyond it. Now let's remind ourselves from the transitive property of trust, the more a customer trusts your site, the better it is for your business in ways that you can actually go and, and measure. We'll get into that measurement aspect in a minute here. Okay, I want to show some example sites, sites that are already using Norton Shopping Guarantee, um, so you can see how it looks. This is the, the banner, the observable area, or, or so to speak, the above the fold area of my, myspicesage.com. You notice how the Norton Shopping Guarantee seal appears in the lower left-hand corner of the screenshot. If you scrolled up or down, it stays put. That's where it resides. So you, you don't have to worry about where you need to place the seal or, where, where, or whether customers might lose it or not. Is this, do I put it at the bottom? Do I put it at the top? Do I put it next to login? It's always going to be in that lower left-hand corner. And that's great because it's, it's again, persistent, obvious, and prominent. You are, you are not only establishing trust, but you're projecting trust. Okay, so let's move through the MySpiceSage.com site, and let's presume that we bought one of their products, we threw it in our shopping cart, and we're ready to go to checkout. This is the checkout page. Obviously, there's some a necessity for login, and if you're giving email addresses and password, this is a great time to start protecting this information through SSL. Look what appears on the right-hand side of the page. This is a takeout from the hover over, but actually this site has chosen to just populate that space right there. So as a customer comes to that very point when they've not only decided to buy your product, but they're starting to tell you about themselves. They're giving you their name, their, their email address. They're establishing a password. They're setting up a relationship with you. This is the opportunity where MySpiceSage.com has said, we're doubling down on trust. We're going to tell you that not only is this the right page, right place, right site, but here's all the protections you've got in moving through the process you're beginning right now. We effectively are doubling down on the power of relationship and trust here. Okay. This site has chosen to show, show the Norton shopping, shopping Guarantee benefits on the right side of checkout. That's optional to you. Again, we're, we'll help you with uh, best practices and recommendations. Um, it's, it's important to say here to note that our current customer ba base, upon implementing Norton Shopping Guarantee, shows an average uplift on measurable factors. Remember I said what you want them to click? Of 7.5%. Uplift, meaningful uplift, ready to go right now. Buy the product, and on average, 7.5% uplift across our entire customer base. This is good for you in this ROIs. Okay, and let's 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 put that in the user's words themselves. Okay, screenshots from a couple different couple couple different sites. I've pasted on the page here. Uh, here's actual customer feedback from sites that use Norton Shopping Guarantee right now. These are pasted verbatim ver via screenshot. And through the magic of clicks, I'm going to highlight here the specific feedback so your eyes can focus directly on them. You're seeing feedback like Norton Shopping Guarantee or the implementation of it made my customers feel more comfortable shopping online. Or as a consumer, I think this is awesome. I wish other websites would, have, would evidence as good customer care as this. Thanks for the Norton 
Norton guarantee for ID theft. This is a nice thing to do for your customers. I'm reading this. This is real customers' feedback, okay? Validating why that, that average 7.5% uplift happens. Okay, here's the last but not least. Thank you very much for the Norton Shopping Guarantee. People really respect this, that you have taken, taken the initiative to drive trust and form that relationship with them and cover their concern areas, and they will reward you. Again, that transitive property of trust in action. You see the evidence of it right here. So that said, it's important to go to how would you go get started. Uh, we've covered the problems and introduced a more comprehensive solution. Um, let's talk about how to test those waters if you're interested. Um, by the way, notice I didn't say here's how to buy. My job here isn't a salesperson. I want to make sure that this is the right solution for you and that the solution pays off. I said this at the beginning. I'm passionate about this that the solution pays off for both you and your customers. A little trust goes a long way, but it also goes both ways. This solution is easy to implement. You can do it quickly, so it doesn't take away from time spent on conducting your business. It's important here. Stay focused on, on making your business and yourself a success. Let us do some, take, take this off your hands. And where you do have to do direct work, this is a quick implementation. Okay, I think this is the one that's, that's really tempting and, and, and really compelling. This solution is really easy to implement. You can do it quickly so it doesn't take away from time spent on conducting your business, but you also can get a 14-day free trial for qualified merchants. The primary objective there during a trial is to test it. Conduct a structured A-B split test. Doing so will allow you to quantify the absolute impact on your top-line revenue before you make a buying decision. Try it before you buy it. We have built this capability into our product because we understand that testing services for site-wide A-B split testing can be very expensive and complex to operate. For us, it's a default setting. Try it before you buy it. What's important is that we guarantee, look at that word right there, starts with G, guarantee a 20 times ROI on, gr uh, on gross sales. Okay. There is a cost, of course, and that is calculated on your sales. However, the maximum cost is just one quarter of 1% of your sales, and that is not much considering the ROI. I've already stated the uplift. Last but not least, there's no long-term commitments. Try it. Try it before you buy it. If you like it, buy in. If you suddenly decide not for you, you want to bail out, go ahead and do so. But when it pays off, it's easy to stick with it. Okay, so as a matter of time check here, we are at 15 minutes before the hour. I wanted to uh, make good on a promise I made at the beginning, and that is we wanted to cover the secret of successful online merchants, and here it is in one tidy package from Symantec, the, the Norton Shopping Guarantee. Increasing conversion, average order value, repeat buyers, and customer satisfaction in ways that directly address consumer problems right now. And the response, both in the customer's words, as well as in average uplift, demonstrates the ROI that you would get from this immediately. Okay? Obviously, it's, it's all in the deal and the details. So there is more to talk about. We want to talk about talk about these things with you and what's on your mind. So before I go through the slew of contact mechanisms available to you, this is the last chance to point your awareness to the right side of the screen and participate in our poll and submit any questions. We will be closing our poll in about a minute here. So if you haven't voted, vote now. Also, this is your last chance to submit any questions. Uh, if and when you're done with that, please point your awareness back here so that we can provide you with all the ways to continue the conversation. Okay, I'm old school. Obviously, if I'm quoting names like Peter Brady, I'm, I'm old school, and I like to recommend that at this point, you do something that if you're on Windows, and that is hold down the Alt key and press the print screen button. That will take a screen capture of this page. If you're on a Mac, hold down the Command key. That's the little curly Q, the clover leaf. Hold that down and press Shift 3. Command Shift 3 on a Mac or Alt print screen on a Windows. That will capture this screen so that you don't lose this information, um, and that is how to contact us and continue, continue the conversation. Okay, 
That said, we want you to reach out to us through your, your account manager. Uh, we would welcome you to call us. Our phone number is there, 1-855-658-2760. That phone, or, phone number is, of course, toll free to you. Uh, you can come and click and, and visit us online. If you'd rather not get in direct contact, that's fine for now. Come and visit us online. Norton Shopping Guarantee.semantic.com. Okay, now looking at that carefully, there are two G's in the middle. Shopping Guarantee.semantic.com. Don't forget both G's. Norton Shopping Guarantee.semantic.com. Or if you'd rather fire and forget, uh, send us an email. Norton Shopping Guarantee at semantic.com. Okay, so. That said, we are closing the polls. We are also going to move into Q&A for those of you who have submitted questions. And I see a number of them have come in. So let's go and answer those right now. Uh, first question that has come in. Let's see here. Word for word, I have a Norton seal already on my website. Yay, good for you. Thank you. You're protecting consumer data right now. Good. Do I still need, that wasn't, obviously, that's my commentary out there. Do I, I, I have a Norton seal on my website. Do I still need this Norton Shopping Guarantee product? Well, yes, if you sell products online, uh, the Norton Secured Seal, the one that comes with our SSL product, assures your customer that their online transaction is secured by Symantec. We are a leader in the security industry. We are the original provider in that area. Okay. It, demonstrates that the website is not a phishing site. That's what you get out of the Norton Secured Seal and the SSL product that goes with, us, with it. So do you still need the Norton Shopping Guarantee product? Yes, because it increases conversions. It assures your customer with a $10,000 protection against identity theft, $1,000 protection uh, in purchase guarantees, and a $1,000 lowest price, I'm sorry, a $100 lower, lowest price guarantee. Uh, remedy. This is a remedy recourse in the event uh, that identity theft and pricing and delivery disputes, um, so on and so forth. Uh, so yes, if you have the Norton seal uh, and you're using our SSL product, if you're an e-commerce site, absolutely, that completes the picture in each one of those categories and all six different dimensions that we raised of customer concern. They go hand in hand. Okay? That's a nice way of saying one product does not include the other, but they are complementary solutions. Okay, looking down the questions here, second one that came in, if I buy Norton, I'm sorry, if I buy Semantic SSL certificates, do I get Norton Shopping Guarantee along with it? Um, no, you don't. At, at this time, Norton Shopping Guarantee is purchased separately from Semantic SSL. Um, we may look at additional purchase options in the future. Remember the focus of the product, though. Okay, SSL is very much about encrypting data. The Norton Secured Seal shows that SSL is in use. Okay, that's about encryption and authentication of your site. But these e-commerce dimensions, okay, these things about e-tailing and, 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 and online merchants, aren't about encryption and validation. This is about merchant reliability and price and protecting the consumer and making them whole after the fact. Okay, so they are for technical reasons, very separate products, but we do hold them as separate purchase from one another. A okay, third question that came in here, how do we, how, sorry, how do I know my customer really cares about this service? <laughs> Interesting question. Um, uh, if, if you don't want to take our word, by all means, run an A-B split test. Okay, we, we offer a free trial on this uh, to selected vendors. Uh, you can run an A-B split test at any time to see real-time, real-world quantifiable results demonstrated to yourself. In addition, you're going to get customer feedback forms as part of the service. So you'll hear from the customer in more ways than one. You'll see demonstrable and measurable uplift based on a variety of indicators that we can track through an A-B split test, but you'll also get their verbatim feedback. Again, happy to help you with this and the implementation and the guidance and best practices. It's part of the service. Okay. Uh, last but not least. Um, actually, this is I, the, it's interesting. 
first question that came in is, I use the Norton seal for SSL on my website. Do I still need Norton shopping guarantee? This is someone who's saying, um, if I if if I buy Norton shopping guarantee, do I need the SSL product? Do I need the Norton seal? Answer there is pretty straightforward. Um, it's not required. It is recommended. They they fill complementary roles, uh, but if you're an e-commerce site, not the question isn't whether as why wouldn't you? The idea here is to establish trust throughout the entire experience. We've given you examples of how leaders in the industry do that, big names, but also, as evidenced by our friends at the Online Trust Alliance, how how smaller brands do it too. It's important to establish trust in as many ways as possible while also not diluting your brand. So here's two counterpart solutions that accomplish all of that. All six different dimensions cover the whole thing. But yes, we would recommend that if, if you buy Norton Shopping Guarantee, by all means, get the semantic SSL certificate to go along with it because you're, you're sending a very unified, comprehensive message. Okay. And that speaks a lot to what comes with the semantic brand and Norton Brands itself, that circle check mark. That's been around for a long time. And if, if, if honestly, when I tell people where I work and I say semantic and they have no idea what I'm talking about, I say, you know when you're on a site and that little check mark? Oh, yeah, I know the check mark. That's where I work. That's what we do. And I always ask at the moment, what does that mean to you? And that, that, that means this is a, tri a site to be trusted. I know I'm safe here. I know I'm good here. And in my mind, I know that's the beginning of that transitive property. If I'm safe here, if I trust this site, therefore I'm going to behave in ways that are good for business as a consumer. Okay, so that's a very meaningful thing here, and here's two opportunities alongside one another to impl implement that circle check mark that everybody knows, loves, and respects. Okay, that is the conclusion of our questions and answers, and frankly, the, con the, the conclusion of our content. Um, I want to give you a couple minutes back in your day today. I want to say thank you for your time and your participation today. This has been the Semantic Webinar for how to discover the secrets of successful online merchants via the Norton Shopping Guarantee. And for Semantic, Norton, and the Norton Shopping Guarantee, this is Jeff Bardo, and I want to wish you a good day and goodbye. And once again, this concludes today's webcast, Discovering the Secrets of Successful Online Businesses. Thank you for attending and have a good day.